Hi, I'm Len Testa, co-author of the Unofficial Guide to Walt Disney World. Today I'm going to walk you through the evaluate step of creating a touring plan. We're going to keep using the same Magic Kingdom touring plan that we've been working on, so let's get started. The evaluate option is different than optimization. Remember that with optimization, you're asking the computer to put the attractions in a specific order. But with the evaluate option, you set the order of the steps, and you ask the computer to evaluate the plan to tell you how long you'll wait in line. Let's use this plan as an example. Suppose that instead of writing Astro Orbiter here in step 20, I wanted to wait until later in the day to write it, uh, because I think people will start leaving the park after dinner. What I can do is click and drag Astro Orbiter and move it from step 20 to step 22. You'll notice all the other steps move up when I move Astro Orbiter down. And you'll also notice that the arrival times and other information for these steps have disappeared. This is because I've made changes to the schedule, so those old times no longer apply. To see the effect of these changes, scroll down and click the Evaluate button. The Evaluate button will not change the order of the steps in your plan. Remember, only Optimize does that. But it will tell you what kind of waits to expect with this new schedule you've made. The Evaluate step takes about 20 to 30 seconds to run most of the time. When the Evaluate option is done, the same green bar will appear at the top of the page. Scroll down to see the results. In this case, it looks like moving Astro Orbiter to later in the day saved us a few more minutes, so our, our intuition was good here. You can move around any step in any plan. One thing to note is that the Evaluate option will tell you the return time for any fast passes you obtain. So for example, in step 14, it's telling us that if we get fast passes for Big Thunder right now, we'll be able to use them between 4.55 and 5.55 p.m. And you can see in step 16 that we get to Big Thunder right at 5.10 p.m., which is, which is perfect. By default, we assume a five-minute wait to use fast passes, so that's what we've shown here. If you move Big Thunder up or down a few steps, it might slide out of its fast pass window. In that case, the evaluate option will give you the regular standby wait time estimate instead of the five minute fast pass estimate. So whenever you've scheduled a fast pass ride, the thing to note is to look at the standby wait time to make sure you're returning in time to use those fast passes. And that's how evaluate works. Move around some steps, hit the evaluate button and see whether the changes save you any time in line. It's pretty straightforward. Our next video is the last one in the series, and it shows you how to view and print your touring plan when you're done optimizing and evaluating. Thanks for watching.